Hello everybody, Jarek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be talking about how to switch from Bash Shell to Fish Shell. So to start off, please check the description and learn how to install the shell. And once you do that, you need to open up a terminal and run the following command. Now, you you really shouldn't try and switch this with, uh, with the root user. And uh, we've done this with ZSH, where ZSH you can do it quite easily with root. For whatever reason, Fish Shell has some problems with Pam, and let me show you what I mean. So the issue with Pam is that if you try and change the shell with the root user, even if you have a password, it just gives you errors. So I wouldn't recommend trying to switch root from Bash to Fish. You can get by without it you're primarily going to be using the fish shell with uh, your your single user anyway so it doesn't really matter but just to show you what I'm talking about user bin fish and then if I do root enter the root password it's just gonna say authentication failure so like I said be warned don't try and change the root but that being said if we go back to the regular user and we do the same thing, and don't do sudo because that will mess everything up, you can enter your password and it is changed. Now, you're not going to notice a change just yet, so if I do echo and then shell, it's going to tell me that my user's shell is bin bash but I can quickly reboot it and I should have access to the fish shell and be able to use that as my primary shell. Now fish, as we go into in the article, is very useful, especially if you forget commands all the time because it auto suggests from history and from what it knows. It's very useful. It doesn't have the same syntax as bash, so if you run some scripts through it, it's gonna have some weird issues. But uh, overall, if you like to be lazy, it's a good option for people who use the terminal who don't really, really want to remember a lot of stuff or you want history. Here we have the new fish shell. We can use our configuration file. And if we want to uh, run an ls command, we know it'll automatically suggest it if we want to do cat or cal calendar. I got to press, all I got to do is pre press one or two letters auto suggest press the arrow key to the left and uh, it'll automatically suggest commands it's very useful like I said if you forget things or you're or even if you don't like to even if you do remember commands but you just don't feel like having to type it out all the time like you have long commands this will automatically remember it fish is very useful uh, so this is just a quick article so this is just a quick video on how to get the fish shell working for you, please check out the article in the description as I go over more in depth and in detail on how to use it. But until next time, I will see you guys in the next video.